Um, anyway, by the way, chat, uh, I have good news. Me, me uploading video in 4K and 1440p goes all the way back to like 2017. I was one of the one of the very few like early 4K adopters before most most people even had 4K because I thought it was gonna it was gonna help my channel. So in my older videos, I was like a quality stickler and was doing all this extra stuff for it. Long story short, it didn't do anything, right? Uh, it did not actually help the channel at all. Uh, now I am I am clearly in a situation where I want to increase video quality in terms of like VOD quality, in terms of Twitch quality, in terms of like getting this image to look better on this platform, all this kind of stuff. If people literally back then just wanted 1080p, people didn't even have 4K monitors for the most part. So anyway, I have been spending um, a healthy amount of time over the past couple of days uh, in, in, my, in my spare time doing whatever I can about uh, separate video encoders that I can use while I'm streaming. And I also completely, and it seems like my stream is not completely effing broken. It isn't. Um, this is still working right now, right? This is still actually functional. So the, the cool part is that my stream hasn't died. Um, I upgraded all of the internal scaling of all of my devices and this camera and everything to um, actual native 4K. Why is that important? Um, for things called the punch-in. And for anybody that doesn't know, the punch-in, right? This is actually a high-resolution image right here, right? If I can, I can bump this up and make it bigger, and it looks fairly similar to this, right? So this is, this is a actual, like, huge jump scare, uh, high-quality image that's happening from this little box, and I can even make it super tiny, right? So long story short... We use the punch in a lot on shit, right? This thing will be down here. It'll be over here. It'll be up here. It'll be small. It'll be big. It'll be, you know, all this kind of shit. We don't always get access to this. So why is this important? Well, when you actually record your videos in a higher bit rate and a higher uh, resolution, 1440p to uh, 4K, when you do that, the punch in looks better. The punch in actually has enough pixel fidelity so that if you blow it up, it'll look something close to an actual 720p to 1080p image. So that that's nice, right? It's not nearly as blurry or aliased or anything like that. It doesn't look like 480p or 360p like crunchy ass like on YouTube viz. It's always bugged the shit out of me, bro. It's always bugged me. So <clears throat> I started messing around with uh, HEVC encoding. HEVC, for anybody that doesn't know, is, is uh, X265. It's kind of an older encoder right now, but it's way better than like the 20, 25-year-old shit we're still using, like 20-plus-year-old shit we're using on Twitch right now. I found out that it's like, well, if I just internally upscale everything, right, and then just tell OBS to downscale us to 1080p, cool. Well, that means that I can make a local VOD recording using a completely different thing that I stream with, which is my CPU. So I'll just use my 3090, which is in my rig. Poor streamer doesn't have 4090. Um, I can make an, an NVENC HEVC specifically using my, my graphics card to produce an image. So, um, yeah, I'm going to test it out tonight. Uh, we're going to fire up some Tekken 8 and, uh, on, on the demo and play online, and I'm going to make some local recordings of it just to check it out so um i really started messing around because this encoder uh does something that you anybody that's been a streamer or made videos before knows what cbr and vbr is i mean it stands for constant bit rate or variable bit rate and uh for anybody that streams we pretty much use constant bit rate which means that you're looking at an eight eight meg uh image here the whole time so cbr is now the best um but there's this thing that you can record with with your GPU called CQP. Like, and it's called like constant quality processing or some shit. And it's the new age variable bit rate. And all it really does when I'm in a shot like this, it analyzes the image with like AI or some wild shit and goes, 
most of the pixels in this guy's screen, all this shit over here, all this shit back here, most of the shit down there, it analyzes the whole frame, does the entire analyze like every fucking second, right? Um, and goes, that shit isn't moving or is barely moving. Doesn't need bitrate. Yeah, constant qu quantization parameter. Is that really what it stands for? Anyway, it's a codec, but it's yeah, it's it's a relative like super much smarter algorithm than the old shit we've used for like VBR and CBR. And I was doing some testing. I was like, hey man, I'm just gonna record my face, right? And I actually had this thing down here where my testing was like this was tech and eight, and I was just fucking around. Um you can't stream with this. No, no, no. This is not for streaming. This is just for like making videos. And uh I I I watch the footage and sometimes it's it's way too heavy in in data. It's like, oh my god, 40 gigs. What the fuck is going on? So I messed around with it. And I got something that gives us this image quality. Literally what we're looking at right now, dude, like this actual image quality for a tenth of what this is this is producing uh this is producing data wise a tenth so it needed so much less actual data to produce this exact same image so here's the crazy part when it was just me talking and like you know doing the stuff we're doing right now i recorded this uh just me looking at tech and eight and playing it uh guess what the average bit rate was because the bit rate changes constantly but it was it since the image stayed consistent it remained consistent guess what the bit rate was Guess how much data was actually being used? 500K. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? 500K. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. How the fuck does it look fine? I don't get it. And it's because it doesn't need anything, dude. Like, I'm just moving around and shit. If I do this, okay, yeah, he needs like, he needs two megs there, right? Okay, but the majority of the entire file, five minutes of me just sitting here, it used nothing. Because what was I doing? Just neck bearding it up and just chilling out. The majority of what I do all the time, you know? I wasn't moving. So anyway, it's super efficient. And we're going to save, like, you know, in terms of file space and quality. The point of this entire conversation is that I found a way to, like, balance out VOD quality on my streams to do something that doesn't take away from the quality of what you're seeing here on streams, but also do use my GPU effectively for something else completely because I'm not using it for anything, bro. And uh, I can I can get significantly better YouTube video quality out of it. And now with Tekken 8 and especially Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, the good news is that we'll be able to put up like 4K, 1440p footage of those games and it'll look fucking good. It'll look really fucking good. So I'm on a whole tangent, a third of you know about, I completely acknowledge that dude, but you gotta, you gotta like accept that like, this is the shit I have been literally guilty gear striving for, for like 10 years on this platform. It's been like an obsession of mine to keep on the cutting edge of this technology and try to, uh, you know, fucking get the best looking visuals possible. And I know what goes up on YouTube can only be so good in quality because of the difference between Twitch and, and YouTube. So anyway, all it means on your end is that shit's about to look a lot, a lot better on YouTube. It'll take a little bit more effort from my part, a little bit more effort. So I'm kind of obsessed over it. Sorry. I, I've achieved something that makes me very happy in terms of visual quality. And I'm kind of like a little, a little obsessed over it right now. So I'm sort of happy. up for to answer people's questions right uh play lost odyssey i'd love to play lost odyssey but again these random game suggestions don't help um <clears throat> will i ever stream or post videos in 4k resolution um i'm not opposed to it okay what i will say is this sadly a lot of games even though they run at 4k they will not run at 60 frames per second and i'm just starting to enjoy the fact that in the last one to two years the vast majority of games that I've been playing can be played at 60 frames per second. It seems like the first time in 100 years that that's possible, right? It's stupid that games have taken this long to have 60 frames as a standard option, performance to be a standard option in a new release. Um, but you, you're not going to get that at 4K, right? In addition, 4K resolution is an incredibly high required bitrate for broad 
both broadcasting and recording. I think I could do it. Even if I wanted to do it now, I probably could. Um, but I think the question would actually be more of um, could people watch it? It's such a high bit rate. Who could watch it 4K? Who has that internet that could even handle that, right? And then on top of that, no, with my current hardware, I can't do 4K. My current hardware, the highest resolution it'll do is 1080p. I can't even do 1440p if I wanted to. <clears throat> All this capture stuff I'm using only does 1080p, okay? So even if I wanted to do up to 4K, it does 4K pass-through, but it does not do 4K uh, resolution. So I would need a full, a full hardware upgrade. I would need a better PC, better capture device, a full on, and that's the one thing we've avoided. We've literally upgraded everything else, <clears throat> right? My TV, my game consoles, my capture device, my lighting, my camera. I mean, you go through every piece here has been upgraded in the last two to three years, everything but the PC. The PC is still the nine year old PC and it, it still works. It's not really having any problems. It's allowing me to keep doing what I need to do and anything but for anything like 1080p, I'm good. When I need to go to 4K, I guess that's going to be when we're, we're forced to do that kind of an upgrade. Okay? <clears throat> okay. All right. If you read that first statement again, I'm going to read the first statement again. Okay. We believe in giving you the freedom to simultaneously stream all other services, but we also want to ensure that the Twitch user experience is not compromised. Just listen to that. They want to ensure that the Twitch experience is not compromised. Twitch, the website that doesn't allow you to stream at a higher than 6,500 kilobyte per second bitrate. The bitrate that's only good enough for 720p video in 2023 is telling you they care about the user experience. That has to be the biggest, most hypocritical fucking statement I've ever read in my life. They don't give two fucks about the user experience. If they did, they would have been adding quality of life improvements to their business constantly. We've had PS5 and Xbox Series X released, and they still have a bitrate that doesn't even support 1080p 60 frames per second video. They don't give two shits about the quality of what's broadcast on their site. As long as this is rolling in, they don't fucking care. So that is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. They don't care about a user experience in any way, shape, or form. What they're worried about is you're paying more attention to the YouTube chat and the kick chat and all the people are leaving your Twitch and going there to watch a stream, and that's a problem for them. So that's what's enforceable. Not the quality of the fucking stream. That's the biggest joke I've ever heard, and whoever wrote that should be fucking ashamed of themselves that they got paid to write that statement because it's such a lie. It's like Pinocchio's nose grew so big it broke the wall down. Anyway, um, RGB, if you're a complete idiot, and I'm not even going to address what you just said because it's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. Thank you. RGB, I'm really had it with you now. I'm going to tell you one more time. You got to shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't care what you're saying in the chat right now. You have zero credence to anything you've said whatsoever. Okay, zero. Last chance to shut up and stop. I'm trying to be very nice and very fair with you right now, right? You notice I haven't taken any action yet. You're continuously harping on an issue you know nothing about. I'm going to give you one more chance to shut up. Let's see if you can do it. So there you go. See? I, what did I say? I tried to be nice to RGB, and he just insulted me in the chat. I knew it, because these people who are here in my chat to derail are not here to actually make a point. They're just morons. They make shit up. They talk out of their asses. This guy knows absolutely nothing, and now he's gone, and he's not coming back, and I'm happy that he's gone. What a complete idiot. I tried to be nice. Was I not nice? I gave him three chances. Three. But that's the thing. I guess I'm not supposed to be a nice guy. What I'm supposed to do, the moment that I saw that, I should have just got rid of him. 
and never even addressed him because then people would say, oh, you see, he took the bait. Well, no, I was trying to be nice, actually. I didn't want to be mean to the guy, but he was being very mean to me. He didn't know what the hell he was talking about, you know. Um, pretty sad, but it is what it is. I guess that's just life. Is I just got to be a jerk, right? I should just be a jerk and then not say anything, I guess. <laughs> Probably the better way to uh, to do it. 